US Secretary of Defense's statement. Let's talk about a story from Malaysia now, a picture of a meeting held by a group called Atheist Republic. It went viral. It shows a room full of people with their arms in the air. But after that, there was a backlash um, from a government minister who said that atheists in Malaysia should be, quote, hunted down as there's no place for groups like this, he said, under the federal constitution. Now, a bit earlier on, I spoke to a man that we're going to call Michael. It's not his real name. He wanted his identity to remain private. He's one of the administrators of the group in its Kuala Lumpur branch. I asked him what's happened. This group is called the Atheist Republic Consulate of Kuala Lumpur, where basically a consulate meeting, uh, a consulate group, is a shoot-off from uh, Atheist Republic itself. Every year, we'll actually have two or three meetups with all the members just to have a social meeting, talk about um, their lives, because most of the time we always deal with each other online. So we don't really get to see each other face to face. So what happens is we will normally organize these gatherings as often as we can. So when we meet, we just sit down, we get to know each of the members. Some of them are new, some of them we've met before. And then, you know, we have drinks, we eat a bit and we just talk about our lives. That's it. And so when this minister, off the back of this picture from the meeting, said that atheists in Malaysia should be, quote, hunted down, uh, that there's no place for groups like this under the constitution in Malaysia, what was your reaction to hearing those words? Of course, we were quite shocked. First of all, this meeting is a social meeting. Of course, it would involve people who are, you know, legally Muslims and atheists and people from other religions as well. Basically, we want to get to know other, each other better and we want to be friends. So what happens is one of the things that we wanted to do was also to highlight to Atheist Republic that, hey, look, we had a gathering, that's it. And so we took a group picture and we asked our main associate Atheist Republic to post the picture up. The next thing you know, some Malaysian Muslim groups, I think some of their local Facebook media groups got hold of the picture made an assumption that there were actually Muslims, you know, among those involved in the picture and started claiming, hey, what are Muslims doing in this picture and being in an atheist group altogether? The picture gets spiraled into their local media and the next thing you know, it goes up to mainstream media. Eventually, it lands on the lap of the government who then is acting quite surprised that, that there is this existence of ex-Muslims in Malaysia and then therefore he suddenly decides that, you know, something must be done because Malaysia is a country that upholds religion and there is no such thing as atheists existing in the country. And the next thing you know, he wants to do a crackdown. He wants to hunt all of these atheists and I don't know what he wants to do with us. To and be and you better explain as well because you talk about people being legally Muslim and, and a legal status that somebody might have in Malaysia that is connected to their religion because there is federal national law but also Islamic law state by state in Malaysia, isn't there? Yes, there is. Basically in Malaysia, all Malays are by default Muslim. So in their identification cards, their religion will be listed as Islam. Malaysia operates under a dual law system where we have civil laws and we have Sharia laws. Of course, Sharia laws only concerns on matters pertaining to Islam and they contend that any issues relating to a Muslim should fall under sh uh, Sharia laws and that includes the issue of apostasy. This minister, of course, the moment he hears that there are Malays leaving Islam, we can't have that. Something must be done to stop this. And if the religious authorities need to get involved in this to try to bring the ex-Muslims back into the path of Islam, then that is something that they will do. And which is why right now, right, when he calls out for all of these atheists to be hunted, what led to it was a lot of the people, especially those involved in the photos, are now going into hiding because we don't know what's going to happen to them. This is really new ground for us. Do you feel afraid yourself? Obviously, we're not using your real name because you want to, to keep your identity private. Of course, definitely. Look, we have families we have friends, we have careers behind us. The last thing we want is for the authorities, right, to start this crackdown and then leave a trail that would jeopardize all of this. You know, even, uh, even if we have found that we did not violate any laws, the repercussions will be different. The suspicion has been cast. People look at us differently.
the life of one atheist that we're calling Michael speaking to us, a Malaysian, earlier on uh, in the day uh, after that story of uh, a government minister being quoted as saying atheists in Malaysia should be, quote, hunted down. Uh, that news conference in Kenya obviously has not started yet because we would have brought it to you here on OS. You will be able to hear it later on on the BBC with full reaction and analysis a bit later on on NewsHour and Newsday. This is the BBC World Service. The news is in a couple of minutes. But first, science. Where did the first